Well, things around the country looking fairly moderate, mediocre, and you might say calm this morning. But in Montana, you'll see in just a moment that things are anything but. We're starting to ramp up throughout the morning hours and definitely into the afternoon hours overnight into tomorrow. We'll see quite a bit of active weather in the form of snowfall and higher elevations, initially rain snow mix in areas and lower elevations such as towns, valleys, maybe even downtown Helena and Great Falls. But right now, let's take a look around the country. Uh, Wichita, seeing some rainfall down south into Oklahoma, but convective patterns across the country fairly calm today. A little bit of shower activity up in Illinois, near Chicago, into Missouri, just a bit. But the west looking fairly calm this morning, even though they could definitely use some more moisture. Here in Montana, seeing temperatures pretty comfortable this morning, like a fairly warm 42 degrees in Glasgow, 41 in Jordan, 30 in Great Falls, 39 up on the High Line in Haver, right at home in Helena, 33 degrees. Butte and Bozeman down below freezing, though, however, across the state, seeing rainfall up along the northeastern corner of the state there. Glasgow seeing some rain moving up into the Canadian border and across the border there. Glendive, Miles City, just a tad bit of rainfall. But the main weather story today, once again, going to be the winter weather. We're seeing the late spring season storm here and this pink shade indicating a winter weather warning, winter storm warning for areas in pink, including Helena, Great Falls and Butte. Initially today, this was issued for the higher elevations around town, mainly above 5,000 feet, but snow le levels rather will gradually diminish as we go along, gr diminish and lower, not diminish completely, but they will diminish and lower as we move along through the afternoon hours. This purple shade indicating winter storm watch, winter weather advisory, and a few other warnings buried under those main colors as well. So here's a closer look at the watches and warnings, pink shade, of course, winter storm warning. Once again, those levels will come down as we move through the afternoon hours. But as we move into the evening hours, we'll see that that low pressure system down in southern Montana will indeed move across the state today, pushing some instability up through areas like Helena, Great Falls, and Lewistown. Before it gets there, instability will rise, leaving the potential for uh, atmospheric turbulence. There's the old ball coach, Coach Watkins used to say, be a little shaky before that low pressure system makes its way through. Lightning strikes, thunderstorms could pop up as that instability rises. But as it moves through, temperatures will begin to drop and we'll see into tomorrow snowfall, a strong possibility in lower elevations, even valley areas here in late spring, especially for your Friday tomorrow. We'll see Helena, Great Falls, Bozeman, central areas across the state seeing decent snowfall actually for late spring and over into western Montana, areas like Missoula, Kalispell, once this really gets out of the way, you'll have a period of sunshine throughout the day. Not really the case for areas in central Montana as this low pressure system moves through the state. Saturday, don't get used to that, the lull, if you will, in the weather, because right after the first low pressure system moves out, here comes another one right through the state, and push even more moisture into the state for your Saturday on into Sunday. That'll be the case again, low pressure system still pushing precipitation in the form of rain, rain, snow, rain, snow mix throughout the state. Have some more moisture next week, Andy. See for the seven day forecast, moisture is pretty populated. <laughs> and pretty popular. I say we take all that we can get right now, especially when we know.